Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to help you find out if ClF3 is a polar or non-polar molecule. To determine its polarity, we will first look at its lowest structure. Here chlorine atom is forming three single bonds with fluorine atoms and has two lone pairs of um, electrons and this is the lowest structure for ClF3. Now to find out its polarity, we are going to uh, check the electronegativity values of chlorine and fluorine. So chlorine has an electronegativity value of 3.1. 9 and for fluorine it is 3.98 so if we calculate the difference it is higher than 0 0.4 which means that the bond between chlorine and fluorine is polar so this is for bonds right the bonds that are formed between fluorine and chlorine but besides that even if you look at its molecular geometry the molecular geometry is t-shaped like the molecule is a t-shaped molecule and because of the presence of these two lone pairs of electrons there will be a an uneven distribution of charges or uh, generally the atoms generally the molecules that have um, asymmetrical structure and have lone pairs on central atom are polar in nature because of the uh, uneven distribution of charges and this holds true for clf3 molecule as well because it has these two lone pairs of electrons and it also has a t-shaped molecular geometry which means that the uh, dipole moments that are created by the difference of electronegativity between chlorine and fluorine are not cancelled out and as a result there is no um, zero di uh, there is a non-zero dipole moment in this molecule which makes clf3 a polar molecule i hope this video helps you to understand the polarity of this molecule and for more such videos on lewis structure molecular geometry polarity of the molecules make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching